250 liters of water tank. This is a water tank which is cylindrical, has the capacity of 250 liters. The second information that we know is, which is very logical, heat loss is proportional to the surface area. So what's our objective? We want to minimize the surface area. We want to minimize the surface area so that you can minimize the heat loss. So greater the surface area, greater the heat loss or lesser uh, as you decrease the surface area, you'll get uh, less heat loss. So the question is, if this is what we have, we want to find what's the radius and height. Okay, so let's write certain f some formulas that you should know. We have 250 liters. You got 250 liters of water tank. And the dimension that you're going to find should would be in centimeters. So I hope you know one liter is 1000 milliliters. Now these are some basic facts which will help you. And one more fact that you should know is one centimeter cube is equal to one milliliter. One centimeter cube is one milliliter. So let's convert this into, so I hope you can directly understand 250 liters is 250,000 milliliters and that is 250,000 250,000 centimeter cube is volume, is V. So can we write V of or the volume of the cylinder? You can look up in your formula sheet, which is pi times radius squared times height. And surface area of a cylinder, I'll write S, is the curved surface area is 2 pi rh. This will also be in your formula sheet. This is the curved surface area. This is, I'll write in short, CSA. And then you have the top and the bottom, which is circular, which is pi r squared plus pi r squared, which is 2 pi r squared. So you want to minimize surface area. So you should be able to write surface area in terms of R or H. I see an H here. So my objective is to write H in terms of R. You can pause this video and try to do the rest yourself. Okay. So I now I can say uh, pi, re, pi times pi R squared H is equal to 250,000. 250. So now dividing both sides by pi r squared, dividing both sides by pi r squared, what can we get? H is 250,000, 250,000 divided by pi r squared, just like that. So in place of H, I can put 250,000 divided by pi r squared. So I'm going to rewrite S would be 2 pi r times 250,000, 250,000, 250,000, that's right, divided by pi times r times r. Let me write like this, plus 2 pi r squared. So what will get canceled? So uh, the pi will get cancelled and the radius and radius gets cancelled. So S as a function of R is 2 times 250,000 is 500,000 divided by R is 500,000. Instead of writing divided by R, I'm going to write that as R to the power negative 1 plus 2 pi R squared. So this is S in terms of R. Now to minimize S, to minimize S, dS by dR should be equal to zero. dS by dR should be zero. So let's do dS by dR. So dS by dR is, to drop this power down, so this is minus 500,000 times r to the power minus 2 plus if you drop this down this will be 4 pi r 
4 pi r. So this is ds by dr. Okay, again, you can pause the video and try to the, do the rest. So here we are saying for minimum surface area, r has to be, or ds by dr has to be zero. So I can set this e is equal to this. Okay, so let me use a different color. So can I say 4 pi r, 4 pi r minus 500,000 divided by r squared is equal to zero. Okay, so I'm going to add or swap this to the other side. So this is 4 pi r, 4 pi r is equal to 500,000 divided by r squared. So let's multiply both sides by r squared. So if you multiply this side by r squared, you have to multiply this side by r squared. So this and this gets, this is times by r squared. So this and this gets cancelled. So we can say this is 8 pi r cube is equal to 500,000. So what can we do now? I want to get r, so I'm going to divide this side by 8 pi. So you have to divide this side by 8 pi. So r cube is 8, sorry, this will be 500,000 divided by 8 pi. So keep writing 8, this is 500,000 divided by 8 pi. Now what should we do to get r? Well, you have to take the cube root of this side. If you take the cube root of this side, you have to take the cube root of this side. So r, to be exact, is cube root of 5,000, sorry, 500,000 divided by 8 pi. So for this, I need a calculator. So let me use my calculator, which is here. Go to the run menu and press three, shift cube root of bracket 500,000 divided by eight, shift pi, close the bracket, which is 27, 500,000 divided by what did I do? I have done a mistake here. This was 4 pi. I did, why did I write 8 pi? For no reason, I wrote 8 pi. So it's always good to check. I knew the answer. So this is 4 pi. So dividing this side by 4 pi, 4 pi, 4 pi. So this will also be 4 pi. Okay, so let's check. Uh, so let me write 4 there and cancel this, 8, 34.1 centimeter in 1 dp. To be exact, so this is 34.1 centimeter in 1, sorry, in 1 dp. So now we need to find the height. So let me write here, so let me cancel this. We want to, can uh, uh, I need the formula for height here. Yeah, height is 250,000 divided by pi r, 2 pi r squared. So let me cancel this. So radius, so let me rewrite. So radius should be 34.1 centimeters. We will do this on a calculator later on. You can come from the answer and your height should be 250,000 divided by pi times radius squared. So I want the answer. So cancel. So this is 250,000 divided by, uh, I'll write this in the bracket, shift pi times 34.1 squared. Close the bracket, which is 68.2 68 
68.4 centimeters. So the height should be 68. Point, what was the number? 68.4. Let me confirm. 68.4 centimeters. So if you have this height and this radius, you will have the minimum surface area, and that will uh, cause the minimum uh, heat loss. So let's let me show you how you can do this uh, using your calculator. So this is your surface area, and uh, let me show you this on a calculator in a graphical way. So first I'll go to table and type in S, which is Y, as a function of R, which is going to be X, so this is 500,000 times X raised to negative 2 plus no, sorry, this is 500,000 times x to the power negative 1. 500,000 times x raised to negative 1 plus 2 shift pi times x squared. So we know, we'll go to set, I'll go from say z 1 to 50 at a step of uh, say 2. Step, step of 2. Oops, step of 2. I just want to show you the table because this is when you come to 34 you get the least surface area. So this is 34, around 34, between 33 and 35 the minimum surface area. So to explain this graphically this is 21,000 and when it is 1, it is how many thousand? This is 500,000. So let me show this on a graph. Go to graph. And I have to scroll like this. You may not need to do it. I need a proper scale. That's why I went to table first. So shift F3. I'll go from 0 to 50. And on the Y, I will go from 0 to 500. Thousand at a rate of 10,000. 10,000, 11,000 doesn't matter. So this is your graph. Okay, so and the minimum is somewhere here. So G sol and minimum. When X is 30, uh, 34.1392, this is your volume. So let me, so 21219 something is your volume. So this is how you can do any problem on minimization by just looking at the data and try to relate different things that you already know.